But I think we'll go to Dr. Susan Oliver and her dog, Julie, uh, in Australia, and we'll have the Australia update. And uh, I'll find this interesting because I haven't seen it myself. So, Julie, as always, thank you. Thank you very much for your updates. And let's watch that now. Now, I'd like to finish by addressing a very serious issue which appears to have emerged with vaccination. And that is the issue of vaccinated people becoming magnetised following vaccination. So I'm now 20 days past my first vaccination, so I should be quite magnetised by now. So let's check it out and see if I can get this spoon to stick to my forehead. OK, let's hold it there. Oh, that didn't work at all. Hmm. Um, maybe it's only magnets that stick. Okay, so here's a magnet. Let's see if that, I can get that to stick. Okay. Oh, no, that didn't work either. No. Now, I'm sure most of you aren't too surprised about my failed experiment. But the question is, why did the rumour start in the first place? I find usually these things start because someone has come across some scientific information and completely must misunderstood what they were reading. So there's two possibilities here. The first is people have confused metal eyes with metal. Now, where's the spoon gone? Oh, here it is. Uh, this spoon is made out of metal and this isn't something that you'd like in your body. But we do in fact have lots of metal ions in our body. So this spoon contains iron the metal but of course metal ions like iron are in fact essential to to life and another obvious one is common table salt which is actually sodium chloride and sodium is a metal but when it's ionized it is no longer a metal the other possibility is someone has decided to do some so-called research on nanoparticles, which are, of course, used in mRNA vaccines and has you know, put two and two together and ended up with 42. Now, nan nanomedicine just happens to be one of my research areas and I share the field with you know, thousands of other scientists. Now, there's lots of different types of nanoparticles that are being explored, but one particular area that is being looked at is magnetic nanoparticles. And amongst the areas they're being explored for is imaging and also cancer treatment. So what I'm wondering is if someone has come across a paper about these specific nanoparticles and falsely assumed all nanoparticles are magnetic. Yeah, it's, it's possible. I mean, of course, another explanation is that someone just made it all up. Anyway, that's it for me. So stay safe, everyone. Good. Can't beat a scientific approach. And, and, and of, of, of course, uh, Susan is a... A specialist in nano medicine. Now I'll have to ask her what that means one day. We'll maybe do a talk on that. Great, Susan. That's fantastic. It's great to talk to you as always. Um, anything else you want to say? Are we happy? Well, there is Any other pressing news. There oh, the, mag one. the magnetism. Yeah, go, go, go. <laughs> yeah. So after my last demonstration, that there were a couple of people who were sceptical because of my demonstration showing that I wasn't magnetic and they thought because I was using a stainless steel spoon. Well, when you say a couple, I think we mean a couple of hundred really, Susan. But yeah, carry on. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how many of the comments I read, but there were quite a few comments saying, oh, that, that, that stupid Australian scored an own, <laughs> own goal, you know. Stainless steel isn't magnetic, duh. Well, here's the spoon. This, this is the spoon I used last time. Here's a magnet. Probably won't stick this time. It's quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> it is magnetic. Also, there were other few people who were saying, oh, it's because I didn't do it in the injection site. Yeah, no, it didn't stick. There's different grades of stainless steel. The majority of them are actually magnetic. There is a couple of grades that aren't, and they actually have a completely different chemical structure. So it's not actually related to the amount of iron in, in the stainless steel. It's just that they have a different chemical structure, which means that what causes a magnetism doesn't happen anymore. But Pretty much cutlery is always made out of the magnetic form. So that's just what I'm convinced. And Susan is a proper scientist. She is a she is she is the real McCoy. So I'm, I'm accepting that explanation 100 <laughs> percent.